Hey guys, welcome to my channel Way to Study. So today's video, I'll teach you how to create a library database. So I'll take you deep to the topic, and I'll teach you some new commands in this video, like how to enter a data into your database, and how to alter it, and how to show and represent your database on your output screen. So let's log in. Enter your username and password. Please follow my other videos too. The username is system and password login. Click login button. Just wait for a second. Click on SQL. Click on SQL command. Yeah, just wait for a second. So our first step is how to create a table. So for creating a table, you need to type the command create table table name. So here table name should be unique. It should not be repeated many times. So here table create table. So type table name. So I I am using library bracket inside bracket you will give your entity. So my first entity is book ID and its data type is number and its size in bracket I gave the size then and it a primary key. Why I am using here primary key because every time book ID should not be same. It should be unique. So that's why I am using primary key. Title. Worker is another data type. 20 is the size and not null. It should not be empty. Title. There should be title. So next entity is author and worker is data type and the size is 20. And the next is publication. My next entity is publication and its data type is worker 2 and size is 20 and my next entity is year of publication and the data type is number book of price book price and the data type is number and the size is 4 close the bracket terminator and then select the command press run button so guys here we will see one error let's read name is already exist so the library name I used here is already I created so I need to use some different name so let's change our table name so I'll give library 1 again select the command and press run button so you will see table has been created so to see the table type description DESC and your table name at last use terminator select the command and press run button so you will see your table is displayed so here your table name your entities and your data type length precision primary key scale everything is displayed we use this command to display our table so our next command is how to insert value in your table so first press insert into table name table name is library one here so space values bracket so first value is my book id so book id is one not not one comma single quotes so now title my book title is dbms comma single quotes and my author is Iran 
please type in single quotes and then comma and then author the publication is skyward publication the year of publication is 2014 the number you can enter without single quotes and the price is 500 so select the command in the ad don't forget to give terminator select the command and press run button so you will see one row is inserted like this enter the second row your second data into your database library your table name values and enter the values book id book name publication name year of publication and book price you can enter as many values as you want so here I am entering only two values but you can enter uh, like 10, 20, 100, 1000 as much values you want to enter so press enter so select the command and click run button you will see one row added so let's see our table in which our values is inserted so just type select star star we are using to select all all data inserted from from our table name our table name is library select command is used to get the data so here you can see we inserted two data only so it is represented in output box so our next command is I, if I want to like show public public column only so select publication from table name so here I give select just publication the column select I selected the column from which table my table name so select the command Please type the commands carefully. So guys the next command is select star from library order by title. So guys this command we use to represent our data by order like by alphabetical order or like so it will be represented by title order by title so select star star like all so you can see D then O so the title is represented in alphabetical order so my next command is I using where where command I use in my next so where command I is basically use for condition in oracle we use where command for condition like select star star we use for all from library to represent all data from library where the condition is book price between 400 and 500 so let's run the command so you will see one one entity only because there is one book only between 400 and 500 so where we basically use for condition thank you so much guys for watching my video i hope you will like my video please don't forget to click subscribe button for more videos and don't forget to log out before you close all tabs